So this is kind of video two of doing this. Um, hopefully this one will be more uh, succinct. But basically we are going to use the guts of this pretty light blue one. Well, formerly pretty. And we are going to put in one of these deals. This is a 256 gig card. So uh, this is a Gen 2, so 256 gig works without much of an issue. If you've got a Gen 1, uh, you're going to have a bad time. I don't think those can use over 128. Anyway, um, you can do this process without reassembly or the quick wheel or anything. Um, just pop the battery. And then... Ideally, you would have wrapped this in the in the tape and bumper. Yeah, if you want to see how to get these apart and whatnot, you're going to want to watch that other video first. So, let's put this in this little spot. Make sure another little, little bit click. Make sure it's nice and flush. And yeah, you can test it just like this. So let's go do that now. There are two procedures for this. There's the Mac version and there's the PC version. Uh, the Mac version takes about, I don't know, five minutes. The PC version takes a lot longer. So uh, we'll explore that. All right, so you got your iPod plugged in there. Just kind of carefully put it down there on a non-conductive surface. And then uh, you take your Mac and you plug in the iPod. So the iPod knows it's connected. So we're going to launch iTunes. There it goes. And that's basically it. It might ask you to uh, restore, but so we'll go ahead and do that actually. Restore. Hold on, password time. Now let's suppose you're using Windows and you're either using a fresh flash card or uh, you're trying to use a Mac to cheat. So I mean, it obviously works, yeah? So you know, you should be able to just plug it in and it should just turn it into a Windows iPod, right? Well, let's uh, find out. Uh, 
iTunes has detected a Macintosh one, you gotta restore it. Well, let's go ahead and do that then. Restore. Watch restored, it says, yay. Oh no, it says it's corrupted. That's not a good prize. And indeed, it no longer knows it's an iPod mini. And if you unplug it, it does this. So, yeah, that's what happens pretty much any time you do Windows. And that's mostly because you're using one of these real high capacity flash cards. Uh, CF doesn't really have this problem, it's just the SDs, especially if you're going over 64 gigs. The 128s and 256s will basically do this every time. So, you've got a couple options here. A, you can download that to Alme Partition Friend or whatever it's called. Uh, and install it on your computer and uh, you know manually manage it that way but I don't really trust that software so that's not what I'm gonna do the other option is to use a, another partition manager like uh, parted magic which is what I'm gonna do um, however both methods require the removal of your flash card. So that's got to come out. And it's got to go into the PC. Um, and we're going to, we might do an experiment, but as far as I know, uh, from what I've read, each time you restore the iPod, like if it crashes uh, and you're using Windows, you got to take this flash card out and run a partition manager on it each time or it won't restore. Um, yeah, let me show you what I'm talking about here. All right, so you're gonna wanna take the flash card out of there and put it in something else, either another adapter or something that can directly do an SD card. Put it in here. going to want to go here. I mean, you don't really have to do these steps. But once you click restore on the iPod, it's going to do this, right? So what this portion is here is the iPod software. And then there's the actual stuff that you put your music on over here. So it, the restore worked, but it didn't format properly. Uh, there's something wrong with the MBR. I don't know if it's iTunes's problem. Or Windows is problem, but uh, yeah, that just doesn't complete the format correctly. So that's what the partition manager software does. It repairs the MBR, the master boot record of the disk. So you can either run the Alme or, uh, like I said, another partition manager or Parted Magic, which is what I'm going to do. I'll show you how to run that. Uh, you can download an ISO like a Hirons or a Ultimate Boot CD to do it. And you just boot off of it into Parted Magic and uh, go from there. So let's uh, go take a look at that. All right, so here's the boot menu for the Ultimate Boot CD. 
So we're just going to go ahead and go down to Card of Magic. And we're just going to go to Enter. This is kind of an old computer, so you might need to, uh, it's like a Core 2 Duo or something. So you might need to consider changing some of the uh, options on newer machines. Which, you know, in which case the Alme program might be better for you. All right, now we're at the desktop. So you're gonna wanna take your micro SD and uh, plug it into whatever you're using over here. All right, once you got that deal plugged in, you go over here, test disk. Uh, we're gonna, don't want the log. There we go. All right, so you're gonna wanna find your flashcard. So this has three options. The top one is SDA, which is your little my local hard drive. There's your flashcard. That's the CD-ROM. Anyway, you're going to choose your flashcard. Uh, you're going to choose Intel. And you're going to choose MBR code. Enter. Did it do copy? Yes. Say yes for what? And quit. And that's pretty much it. So, all right, so you got your uh, flash card. Let's focus. So you're going to want to go back in there. <laughs> yeah, I got it. goes. Oh, there it goes. Press off Windows. Press off again. And new iPod, hooray. Look, it even says 256 right there, isn't that nice? Yay, iPod. So, play music. I don't want that, I don't want this. Yeah. Hey, it snipped on me. Oh, that's bad. Let's take technique here. Let's go over there. All right, and then we've got some songs. Hooray. Reject it. Right, and that's about how it goes. Like I said, if you uh, ever corrupt the thing or it just stops working, you're going to have to do all this again. Like take it out and uh, run some sort of partition manager on it to write a new MBR after you've done the restore process. It kind of sucks. Um, I'm going to put this thing back together and uh, see if I can put it in disk mode and run the MBR fix without having to take it apart because that would simplify things. But uh, if that fails, then yeah, this is definitely the only way to do it. All right, so we saw that IPOD works, right? So music, artists, and I got songs there and I play. So it's hunky dory there. So. Let's 
let's try to restore. It says it's rebooting, and then, oh no, it's broken. So we're going to do it all over again, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to put the iPod in disk mode. So what we're going to do is menu and select, make it reset, and then play and menu and select for disk mode. There's disk mode. Piss off iTunes. Right, so we're in disk mode. All right, so we're still in disk mode on part of magic let's see if it shows up and it looks like it did all right intel again dr code write a new copy yes okay Oops. Wrong button. Hold on. Quit. All right. And then let's reset the iPod. Top two buttons. Uh, it's still angry. Yeah, so uh, it doesn't look like it has full access to the drive in disk mode. Let's try it again though. Disk mode. still broken so yeah it looks like you've uh, got to pull this thing back apart and uh, run it on the bear card which is not a fun prospect so if I was gonna do another one of these I'd probably just stick with 32 or 64 gig CF card I don't know if the full-size iPods are that difficult. I don't really have any that I want to play with at the moment. So, yeah, that's basically what the deal is with, uh, with one of these. All right, well, let's see if the Mac can recover it without taking it apart. iPod is corrupted. Yes, I'm aware. Thank you. Yes, please.
damage deals. Yep, 238, so I don't have any music on uh, on this computer. So 